Hi, Mr. Lynn. I'm Tom Oding. Tom? I'm the uh, Chief of Ophthalmology here, and uh, I'm in on all the eye surgeries. And I understand that you've got a cataract in your left eye, and that we want to talk about proceeding with cataract surgery. That's what it is right now. We uh, do cataract surgery when folks have a, a problem that limits their function. So that the real reason to do cataract surgery is because you're having functional limitations. You're, you're unable to drive at night, or you're unable to read. Are you having problems like that? I'm having both of those. Uh, pretty much quit driving at night for the last six months because of glare problems, and I find myself reading with one eye when I'm reading frequently, and it's the left eye that's bad. Okay, good. So you're having a functional problem. That's that's important. We uh, we have really two options when you have a cataract. And one option is to just wait further and, and maybe modify your glasses, but just sort of put it off for a while. And then the other option is surgery. So really with this, there's only two options. I think it's important for me to go over the potential benefits of surgery and the potential risks of surgery so you, you, can, you can make the decision whether or not you want to proceed. Good. The risk of surgery is about 1% of people that have cataract surgery will see worse after than before. And you could see worse because of retina problems or cornea problems or any number of rare problems uh, like infection or, or hemorrhage. And when you pool all those rare problems together, about one in a hundred people will see worse after than before. You said uh, when it is worse, is that correctable past that or is that permanent? That's a good question. So when I say that, what I'm talking about is despite all the best efforts we have, uh, despite other surgeries, despite bringing in other consultants, um, that one percent of people will see worse after than before. However, that, that worse includes just a little bit worse to a whole bunch worse, okay? So, so uh, even if you were just the one or two lines worse, that would be included in that 1%. Now, very, very rarely uh, people will lose their eye or, or go completely blind from cataract surgery. So the, the chance of that is extremely low, like in the 1 in 50,000 range. Completely blind in the eye that's being operated on. Yes, sir. That's correct. So the other side, the flip side, is to look at what's the potential benefit of the surgery. And, and, and so if you look at it from the other way, you would say, well, 99% of people will see at least as well as they do now or better. And I think because you have a normal optic nerve and a normal macula, I think in your situation, the chance of you having normal vision after surgery is about 95%. So about 95 out of 100 folks in your situation that have surgery will see normal afterwards. About 3 or 4% we'll see about as good or better, and then there's that 1% that see worse. But then again, if I don't do anything, it's 100% chance that it's not going to be any better, right? That's right. You're exactly right. So if we make the, the other only option we have, and that is to not do surgery, then we know the cataract will proceed, um, and yours has been proceeding fairly fast, and so we know that the cataract will get worse, and so if we do nothing, there's a 100% chance your vision will get worse, and that's a, that's a very good point. We also need to talk about the hassle factor, because when you're trying to decide to do surgery or not, you need to know what the hassle is. The surgery takes about 30 minutes or so to do, sometimes as quick as 20, sometimes as long as 40 minutes, but it's usually around 30 minutes or so. For the surgery, we have you take some medicine by mouth to relax you. We, we'll put a bunch of eye drops in that will help you uh, uh, with making the pupa bigger and will help uh, with uh, providing anesthesia. Uh, the, the light is kind of bright during the surgery, and you see some swirling images. But most patients afterwards tell us that they, they tolerate it very well. A lot of folks tell us that the, the surgery is no harder than doing the exam. So I don't think it'll be that hard on you. There's, a, there's an IV that we place for the surgery in case you need more relaxing medicine. After the surgery, the nurses will take out the IV, get you something to eat. We'll see you a few hours after the surgery, make sure everything's okay. And then usually we won't see you again for several weeks. Well, that's kind of how, how I would sum up the potential benefit and potential risk for you uh, for the surgery. Have you got any questions? When you speak, uh, talked about the surgery and the post-surgery, post-op, how long, what's the recovery period? How long is it before I have activity or can leave or whatever? That's a, that's a great question. So if, if, um, if when we do the surgery, we typically ask folks for about a week to take it easy. And all we really want you to do is not lift anything really heavy. So for about a week following the surgery, we want you to not do things that might make you red in the face, because that increases the pressure in the eye. 
So for you, that might be 50 pounds. For most of our patients, we'll say 20 pounds, no more lifting than 20 pounds. Um, we'll ask patients not to bend over at the waist for an extended period of time. You could bend over and put your shoes on, but not to bend over for an extended period of time, like if you're weeding or, or waxing the floor or something like that. Um, and then after a week, full activity, no restrictions at all. Very good. Um, the uh, eye drops that you put in uh, will go over after the surgery. But just so you know, there's some eye drops that you'll put in four or five times a day following the surgery, and you'll taper those down over the course of the next uh, several weeks after surgery. Can I do that myself? Most patients can do it themselves. Um, occasionally, folks will, will need some help getting them in at first, but I, we can teach you how to do it. I don't think you'll have any trouble. Any other questions? I think that's about it. Well, very good. Well, we'll have you sign the paperwork uh, for, for the consent. And, um, uh, and it's my understanding that we look each other in the eye and we both sort of understand that there's some risk and, and there's, but there's potential benefit that outweighs the risk and that you and I want to proceed. Absolutely. Always risk. And I'm willing to trust you, doctor. Thank you, sir. All right, Mr. Myers, my name is Dr. Boland again. Good to meet you. Thank you. Um, so what we've, we've talked about a little bit is that um, the trouble you're having with feeling like your stuff's coming down over your eyes is due to the, the drooping of the skin, both of your eyebrow and your eyelid. Um, so the surgery that they talked about last time that we'll be doing tomorrow is um, both elevation of the eyebrow to get it back up. So if I you know, sort of lift it back up like that for you, and then there's that extra skin on your eyelid that you probably noticed that will also take a little, little piece of that out to try to lift it up. And uh, I think like you were telling me earlier, when you do that yourself, you lift that up, you, you see better. Right? So that's, you know, the gist of the surgery will make incisions along the eyelids, uh, remove the extra skin there, and then we'll also make some incisions up above your eyebrow uh, and, and uh, take some skin out there as well to lift up the eyebrow. Um, and we'll sew that all back together when we're done. And then that'll sort of lift everything up for you. Okay, so that, that's kind of the surgery we're doing. The benefit of that is going to be that um, you'll see better and you won't have that sensation that things are coming down over your eyes. Um, and when we did the visual field test earlier, that showed that you've you know, you lost a fair amount of vision from all the skin coming down. So I think that's going to be the benefit you're going to get out of it. The, the risks of the surgery tomorrow are uh, the same with most kinds of surgery, and that's bleeding. That's why we wanted you off the aspirin. That makes your blood thin. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, there's a risk of that either you know during and after the surgery. Um, during the surgery, we can usually control it without any problem. Um, there's a risk of infection after the surgery. That's a small risk, but we'll put you on some antibiotic ointment to try to prevent that, that risk from happening. And the other risk is a, a category I call needing more surgery. And that just implies that anything that, any complications that may occur may require further intervention later to fix. So if, if things aren't even when we're done, we might need to do a little more on one side or another. If something's lifted too high, we may have to lower it back down, those kind of things um, that we have to worry about. Keep me sleep. If what's that? So too hard to keep me from sleeping. Well, or you know, your, your eye can dry out, things like that. But that that's uncommon. So we, you know, we try to measure first and take out just the right amount of skin tomorrow. Okay, so those are the main things we worry about, and the benefit, like we talked about, would be your vision should be better when we're done. Any, any questions about the surgery or why we're doing it? Or no, I don't know why you're doing it. Uh, the uh, when we're looking at bandages uh, uh, over my eyes, my eyes going to be closed for a couple of days? Or? Right, so they, they may be swollen. They're, you don't need bandages mm -hmm. on top. We're going to just sew things back together so you'll have some stitches in there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put ointment on there three times a day. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't need any bandages over it. Mm -hmm. We'll have you put ice on it for a couple of days to reduce the swelling. Mm -hmm. uh, some people's eyes may swell shut for a short time after the surgery, but we're, we're not going to cover them up for you. Mm -hmm. And if you can use the ice and try to you know keep your head up as much as possible, either sleeping and or during the day, that will help. I so sleep all right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. if you sleep, she, she can bring me the ice. That's right. <laughs> that can be her job. Her job. Okay, so uh, okay. now, are these stitches that have to be removed, or are they glued together where they're going to fall out? Or yeah, so the ones in the eyelid will be ones that will dissolve on their own. And mm -hmm. typically the ones we put up in the eyebrow, because it's under, it's heavier, it's got to hold up more stuff, uh, will be ones we need to take out. So we would do that, we will see back in about a week. And, uh, mm -hmm. and take that out. Okay. Uh, when do you leave for Vegas? I leave a week from tomorrow morning. 
week from Friday at 5 o'clock. Okay, can now, we, can we see I back a week from today? Would that be... Well, either that or when they offer it on the stomach, I just had them take the stitches out there. Well, that's true. You can have someone do it locally. It's fine, too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we can set up an appointment there for next Thursday at the uh, Quincy. The yeah, clinic. it'd be better if we, if we could just see it and look at it. Um, just to make sure everything's okay, but you know, as long as you're seeing somebody to make sure nothing's infected, right. um, they can pull the stitches out. That seems like a reasonable thing. I'll be back after the 25th. Okay, we can see that. Right. But we probably want the stitches out before that, since you're going to Vegas, you don't want stitches in your head. Tell my sister in law, she's going to wear shades, cowboy hat, <laughs> cowboy boots, shorts. Or you, might, you might need the sunglasses. You might still be swollen. <laughs> the swelling and the bruising may last for several weeks after the surgery. So, Is that right? That long? Um, it, it, some people do take long others for the swelling to go away. I feel quick. Okay, then you're all set. All right. Okay. See the one more. Any other questions? We'll see you then. No problem. Exactly. I don't know. They'll let you know upstairs. I, I have no control <laughs> over that. All right. All right. We'll all see right. you then. Thank you.